The 49th annual Penrod Arts Festival wrapped up just about an hour ago. It's estimated more than 20,000 people packed the show, and at $20 a ticket, that's nearly a half million dollars. Now, you might be surprised where some of that money goes. Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon shares one family's story on how Penrod is changing their life. There's the entertainment. Everything has a different story to it. And the thousands of unique creations that make up Penrod. You use silicone on like this one, this one, and this one, and use gems and puffy paint and stuff. But Yasmin Armadi isn't one of the artists. She benefits from Penrod using art to let it all out. Different splatter paints and stuff, you know, if you're angry or whatever, just like throw the paint up the picture. You see, the 14-year-old is battling bone cancer and has spent months at Riley Hospital for Children at IU Health. It's been really hard and hectic, you know, me and my mom practically have lived in the hospital since I started, just because I'm either getting chemo or I'm really sick. Admission money from Penrod funds nearly 100 different programs, including art therapy at Riley. It was just um, a thing that, you know, that was there and easy to help me and then just, you know, putting all of like either being mad or sad or whatever, just having fun and just kind of, you know, drifting my mind from you know, just everything that was going on. It's a welcome distraction from a hospital bed, chemo treatments and surgeries. I definitely know that when she's in that moment of creating things, she's not, you know, thinking, okay, I'm, I'm here, I, you know, I have cancer or that, you know, I have to, you know, throw up or not feel well or, you know, think about the process of, what, of it all. You know, she can express her way in different paintings or different crafts that she makes. Mental health professionals are trained to use art therapy as a part of counseling for patients who have had their lives turned upside down. Getting to tell the world kind of their story without using words, sometimes it's just a nonverbal expression. It's a soothing release. I was able to, you know, like, just drift my mind away and just work on different arts. Providing a moment of normalcy for a girl whose smile can light up a room. Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.